Hi, I'm Sue Sylvanians and I make videos about Sylvanian families, also known as Calico Critters. And I have been buying a lot of Sylvanians recently, so I thought today I would open them all in one big video. There are some new releases here in the UK in the form of the Fennec Foxes and the Reindeer Mother, which is currently a Japanese exclusive. I've got a lot to get through, so let's start opening. This is the Triplets Baby Bath Time set. This is a new release for summer 2023 here in the UK and it features the newborn periwinkle milk rabbit triplets. I love the close-ups on the triplets' faces on the side of the box and the little bath time scene on the back. The story is really cute. It says, Alex, the milk rabbit father, is giving the triplets a bath, but bathing three babies at once is no easy task. Choo choo, he says as he pushes Iris on her train. Here's the station. Wait a moment while I get her in, Isla and Owen. Now Iris has fallen asleep. Oh no, cries their father. Wake up, Iris. You can't go to sleep in the bath. At last, all of the triplets are relaxing in the warm bath. They enjoy their baths, but there's never a dull moment. And I do like these little stories, especially when it separates out the newborns, which are usually only given one biography between them all. But let's get it opened. I'll speed through getting all these tiny parts out. So here are the three babies in their cosy hooded wraps. In pink is baby girl Isla and she has an open mouth. Next is Iris wearing yellow and she looks to be asleep with closed eyes. And finally in lilac is the one boy, he is called Owen, and they all look very sweet together. As for the furniture, the main piece is this bathtub. It has scalloped detail around the rim and a tiny moulded star I'm assuming is meant to be the plug hole. Now this is a bit of a strange piece, but if I turn it to the side you can see the holes are rubber rings and it's meant to be the water on the surface of the bathtub and it fits perfectly into the bath. And here is how the babies fit in. Now that I'm thinking about it, it doesn't really make sense for them to be in the bath wearing their outfits, but let's just go with it anyway. And they look so cute in there. Onto the other pieces in this set, there is this little blue train with three seats and wheels which match the pink, yellow and purple outfits. And the wheels do work, allowing the train to roll along. And this train really reminds me of the floating cloud rainbow train, so here they are side by side. Obviously they are different sizes, and this one in the triplets set is less detailed, but the colour is similar, as are the stars on the wheels and the cloud seam coming out of the pipes. The babies can all fit inside at once, so here they are. I should have put them in colour order to match with the wheels, but it's very cute anyway. And they can go for a ride. There are also bath time accessories in this set. So there's this yellow bucket for pouring water on them. And like the bath, it has bunny ears and a scalloped edge. This is a pink watering can, again with bunny ears. And thirdly, not a bunny, but a little purple bear, which I think is meant to be a bubble bath or something to clean the babies with. The tiniest pieces in this set are these three rubber ducks in yellow, pink and purple colours so the babies can have one each. They are really tiny, so here is the yellow duck compared to another Sylvanian one from a different bathroom set. And this is everything included in this set. I love the consistent colours throughout and the tiny babies are adorable. However, the bath is quite large and with the large ears I definitely need to make a fair bit of room for it in a house somewhere. I've got lots of sets to go through, so next is the Fennec Fox family. I bought this and the previous set when they were on offer on Amazon. On the back is a nice family photo of the Fennec Foxes, but we've got no time to waste, let's get them out of the box. The story booklet included is called Ali and Kaya's Chairs. And let's free the figures from their rubber bands. The double buggy was a bit harder to get out, but I got there in the end. So this is the mother, and she is called Sharon. I really like the colours yellow and purple together, so I think her dress is lovely. She has a nice floofy tail. And going close up to her face, there are those unique big ears. Up next is the father, named Ronald Fennec. His outfit is all one piece, but it looks like a shirt and trousers. He has a slightly darker tail, but still just as fluffy as Sharon's. Onto the babies. In purple is newborn brother Ali, and in blue is newborn sister Kaya. She and Ronald are the same colour, which is a more orangey brown tone, whereas Sharon and Ali are a paler green. 
The buggy's wheels have little flowers on and roll along nicely. And here are the newborn twins in the buggy with their mother. Next, I have two more members of the family, the Fennec Fox twins. The box they're in is just the regular one. Epoch now uses a story booklet as the background in the box, and this one is called The Magical Sand Kingdom, so feel free to pause and read it if you'd like. For comparison, they are exactly the same as the new Japanese leaflets too. This is the one from the Flora lop Rabbits. And here are the figures together. On the left is Tyra Fennec. She's in the sitting position and wearing the usual pink outfit, whereas on the right, Rocco is crawling and wearing blue. Like all the new sets of twins, they come with a ride-along vehicle. This is a lilac coloured car. If you've not seen these before, then underneath there is a connector which you can flip out like this. And then you can connect it to some of the vehicles to make a little convoy like I've done here. As a comparison of colouring, Tara is the same orangey brown tone as her sister Kaya, and Rocco is paler like his brother Ali. So let's bring the family together. First the parents, then the buggy, and each of the newborns. This is Yulia Fennec, who came with a floating cloud rainbow train, and now she has a family. Then here are the twins, and them all together. I am missing the child sister, but for now the parents have their hands full with these five babies. I've still got more sets to unbox, so this is the laundry and vacuum cleaner set. And I bought this so the washing machine could go in the bathroom in my Highfields farmhouse, as I had an empty space perfect for this. The washing machine is a really nice piece, the door can be opened, and then there's a gear on the side to make the drum spin round. This latch on the door catches on something inside, so when you spin the gear the plastic moves to look like water. This is the vacuum cleaner, and the smaller one just pops out. I did drop that at first, but with the magic of editing, here's that little one up close. And this is how it goes back in. And let's make Ronald do some hoovering. This pink cloth comes with a set too, and that can be put in the washing machine and spun round to pretend to make it clean. Next, these are the marshmallow mouse triplets in the newborn or cradle size. I think these mice were actually the first of these size babies to be released back in 2018 and I'm glad to add them to my collection once I free them from this box. This is the paper storybook which comes with them and gives their names on the back. Here is the cradle which comes with the babies. It's got a nice wicker texture all over and all three babies can fit in there together. This baby in blue is called Mary, next is Edward wearing yellow, and lastly Elizabeth in pink. My final set to open today is this Japanese reindeer mother delivery bike set. This came out in Japan in November last year and is exclusive to the official online store and official shops, so I bought mine from Kobe Japan. I think the packaging is lovely. It shows the set really clearly on the front with Freya chocolate, and I think the picture of her riding along on the bike on the back is so cute. On the side is the figure's name, which is Elm Snowdrift, and a story. Here is the Japanese version, which I think roughly translates to The reindeer mother Elm is the village's delivery person. She's very strong and dependable. Leave everything to me, she says, today riding a motorcycle full of luggage. Thank you. I've been waiting for this, say the villagers. When she saw everyone in the village smiling and picking up presents, Elm felt happy too. Now on to getting her and her bike out of the box. There were lots of pieces, so I'll speed through that. And to keep Elm in the correct place in the box, she has her own separate section in this orange box. So let's free her. and straighten out her arms and legs. So this is the reindeer mother Elm Snowdrift. Her uniform is made up of navy blue trousers and a matching top with orange ribbon, white lace and striped details. 
It's two separate pieces which Velcro at the back. And her tail is moulded. This is similar to the tails of the Buckley Red Deer family. But let's put her outfit back on. And if I take off her hat, you can see a better look at her cute antlers. They aren't flocked like the rest of her body is, and they're just a smooth brown plastic. Just as a comparison, the baby reindeer figures do have fuzzy antlers, but they are much smaller. Elm's hat is navy blue too, with an orange ribbon and a gold flower. I'll just pop that hat back on her. There, perfect. This set is obviously more than just the figure, so speeding through opening up the bike and all of her items to deliver. As for those items, there is a small pink truck toy. Usually the tiny houses and vehicles are miniature versions of actual Sylvanian ones, so maybe this is meant to be the pink family picnic van. Or if the 2010 nursery bus was pink, not sure. The other toy is this cute little brown bear, and he has a yellow bow round his neck. And sorry for my shaky hands in all of these close-ups. This bear reminded me of another one, which is a white teddy bear from a 2006 Christmas set, except that one has a blue scarf rather than the yellow bow tie. But onto her bank now, I really like the colours on this. The mint green and soft red look lovely together, and I like the present logos all over. The back opens up, and this side is the same as the other one. This set comes with paper items, so I'll open those now. And there are stickers and cardboard pieces. So starting with the stickers is this tiny speedometer. It took me a couple of tries to get it lined up correctly, but that little notch at the bottom helps. And then these are three postcards, I think. These just fold over and stick together. So that one was strawberry themed. This is a birthday cake on the front. And this one has a Christmas tree. So here are those three all folded as neatly as I could manage. I think the strawberry one is my favourite. And then for the cardboard parcels, I pop those out. And to save you from seeing me take ages to fold them up, ta-da, all done. So there is a large red and green present with a gold rosette on. And this purple and white present is slightly smaller. And the one with white and gold polka dots is even smaller. I tried to load up her bike, but unfortunately they won't all fit in at once. So instead the red present can go on top. And let's put Elm in the seat. And she rolls along nicely. I thought I'd do a comparison of this bike to an old pizza delivery truck. They look quite similar in shape. The pizza bike does have a clear windshield on. And also it has a bigger box on the back. You can see here that it has more space to put things in. And it also shuts more securely than the reindeer delivery bike. So while I'm doing comparisons, here is Elm with my usual postman, Pete Petit. They both have navy blue uniforms, but Pete has red detail, whereas Elm has orange details. I think they can both work together. And that is everything in the reindeer delivery bike set. I really like that she is a mother figure. It's definitely a change from older Sylvanian families where this would have been a male figure. I do wish that it came with more items and that the bike could actually fit them all in. But I can definitely make them work in other parts of my collection instead. And there we have it. That is all the things I have to open today. So here is everything all together. It certainly takes up less room with all those boxes and packaging. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like seeing content like this, then subscribe to my channel. I post Sylvanian videos and news, and I will see you again soon.